So today, we are reading the hidden path of devotion, page 81, the last uh, part of paragraph about Tamar Krishna Maharaj. Okay. The five principles of Raga Noga Bhakti. Tamar Krishna Goswami is asking. What is the difference between Bhava Mai and Bhava Sambandi? What is the distinction? And Sri Narayan Maharaj Gurudev says, I have told you all these things. And Tamar Krishna Maharaj says, I know. But I got confused when you discussed the difference between Upadan and Nimitta and how they refer to Baba Sambandi and Baba Anakul. First, I explain a Pishtamavakamoy, which may be in a ripe or unripe stage. In the stage of Sadhama, it is the absorption in one's internal identity wow. as a gopi while still having a material body. And in the stage of Siddha, actually one becomes a gopi. In both cases, it is a Vishtam Raga Mai. No, you don't understand. You say that you understand, then we will slowly and steadily. You are not understand, he is not understand. First, I explained Abhishta Baba Mai, which may be in a ripe or unripe stage. In the stage of sadhana, it is the absorption in one's internal identity as a gopi while still having a material body. And in the Siddha stage, one actually becomes a gopi. In both cases, it is a Vishta Baba mind. So this is a... <coughs> so Abhishta Baba mind. So, so everybody understand. We have uh, Sita Deha and Sadaka Deha. So, so we have understand. We have Sita Deha and Sadaka Deha. As some person observing this this Sita Deha. Also, same time, he has this material body. This is called the Sadaka Deha. Same time, we are doing a Seba in Sadaka Deha. <laughs> so, this absorption, this uh, Naramara said, one's internal identity as Gopi. 
So for us, internal of, uh, identity as as uh, rather dusty. And someone who is completely observing the rather dusty. Wow. Anyone understand this Manjali wow. is wrong? Is Radha Das? No, you say that. Is Radha Das? Gopi Bhav. So, this is uh, <coughs> as a gopi. So we have rather dasi in gopi. Gopi, read this again. First, explain Abhishta Baba Mai. Which may be in a light or unlight stage. In the stage of sadhana, it is absorption in one's internal identity as a copy. <coughs> Yes. So this gopi for us is rather than so we are learned uh, three kinds of say gopi. And why it's uh, uh, Gopi, who loves Krishna more than Radha. They sometimes say like that. Like, like, like. So he wants to enjoy directly with Krishna. This is called also Vishamasne. Also, Sangopi is like uh, Sangopi likes Krishna and Radha, same, same, on proof, quality. Like uh, it is a Samas name. Sometimes that Gopi go to Krishna, <coughs> sometimes go to Radha. So therefore, Samasneha Gopi Baba has tendency. It's Sancha is moving one, one way to the other way. But who us? No, what they say. After that, you will say. After that, you will say. Okay. No need to run. Okay. Um, you will not explain what he is done. Mm. Okay. Again, read this what you read and see what is missing here. First, I explain Abhishta Baba mind, which may be in a ripe or unripe stage. In this stage of Sada, it is the absorption in one's internal identity as a gopi while still having a material body. And in the Siddha stage, one actually becomes a gopi. In both cases, it is a Vishta Baba Mahima. What I did is that I 
These activities that must be performed, like hearing and remembering, these are activities that must be performed, like hearing and remembering. These practices must not be neglected for any reason. Regarding Nimitta Karana practices, if we cannot follow them under certain, circles, certain circumstances, it is not harmful. Therefore, they are considered secondary. At a certain point, Gurudev, when it's too uh, technical, my mind just switches off. I mean, I can... Because you don't know practice. Sorry, no, yes. When you were practice, is clear. Yes. He said, how some If you have a relation, it's somebody. When is the how your feelings are related? That it is also feelings and relation with my feelings. That is also my feeling relation. That feeling relation makes us to do. Makes us to do. I don't do, but the feeling is become so condensed. I am busy with other things, but I want to do that is the house of It's a secondary that I have to do it. If I have no relation and no feeling increase, I will never do it. Understand? I will do it. Other areas, I will never do it. To be a open house, I will stay in my sadhana there. My house, somebody, my sadhana house has no sambandha with my feelings and myself. I have no feeling for this. I am not interested in this. That is awesome. Yeah, therefore, we are hearing and remembering, and we are begging for this to come into my heart and my consciousness more and more. For me, yes. again, also, Monday, it will not happen when we, my feelings is not related with that in my book. I will not raise the book with oil. Rupi Vah is Radha Raja. 
that also means I cannot create it in myself. I need some banda. That means a person who is in this feeling. Who give the mercy. Who give the mercy. I accept this. That this is the real goal of my life. That is my feeling. Because feeling needs this. Is not paper this way. Yeah, I cannot read. Yeah, that's true. Explain no. a thousand times explaining it will not work. No, without uh, living in consciousness, living in that power. I love you. I love you, but I never saw you. I'm not, I'm so busy with my materials. So I don't do primary and material, secondary thing. <coughs> My mind is going somewhere. So now is a very dry subject. You should practice explaining. You should not practice the way to practice to us. But two branches that will have a very nice Observing. You need air also, you need a voice also, you need everything is not possible. How oh, One language is not there. One Hindi don't know. After me, only you have to know Hindi and Bangladesh, then you will understand. Now, somebody will say it also. Without Hindi, you cannot explain. Nobody will explain. Thank you. 
Yeah. Observing the vow of Kartik may fall in the category of either Upadan Karan or Nimitta Karan. When it is followed simply in accordance with the rules of renunciation, such as avoiding certain foods and activities, then it is in the category of Nimitta Karan. <clears throat> you use so many foreign words, I don't understand. That is the problem. <laughs> <laughs> After 10 minutes, I have so many words that I don't understand. <laughs> then you go in the words. Yeah. And when we are in the words, we are not in the feelings. No, we don't remember anything. How's it be? This is the Panditai. How do you understand that you know? <laughs> but I don't understand and practice. Only like I'm playing with the words. Yes, that is unfortunate. It's only the only talks with words. And if you see in the front of Pandit, they will talk about the that you don't understand. So Guru Dev is saying this my understanding. Like if we paper. We chanting mantra just mechanically, <laughs> and some person who chanting mantra is relationship, and intimacy, and feeling. Same mantra, same practice, but completely different. <laughs> Is that also different? So this is uh, uh, Nimitta Karana. This difficult word. <laughs> it is like, uh, you know, just following superficial. Like uh, this Upadana Karana is a kind of more intimacy, more, more feeling. If we practice. This is um, but if we go so uh, always in this foreign words, use this and do so much in the details, then we will not understand the main meaning of this. So we have too much, we need too much uh, energy uh, to understand the, the single words. Yes, that we will not understand what is the meaning. Mm. <laughs> so maybe when one foreign word we understand, but then we use three new, and so our brain will not work like this. And so after all, we are maximum frustrated by not understanding. So then we think, okay, he is the one who understands, but we will never understand. So we make him the goal because he understands. So he is the boss and he will be the boss forever because we are stupid. And only the pundits will understand who has a brain like an elephant. Understand? This is only my, because my brain is very simple, small, I need simple words, and uh, 
I actually, for me, in love with Sambanda. <laughs> when I understand Sambanda, I don't need all these words. Because when I'm in Sambanda, automatically everything comes. Right? So I explain love. But in that moment, I find the person I love. What you need to explain love for? But if I don't find this person, what is the use of all these words? I, I will never understand what is love. And this is also in our case. We need the person who gives the love, and we fall in love in the Swami. He is giving. Swamini to our heart. And this is only possible by Sambanda and not by explaining foreign words. You can explain thousands of these words without Sambanda. Yes, yeah, some person want to understand Gorasundara. So someone say, I like Gorasundara books. But after reading Gorasundara books, may not understand fully. Because we don't have some banda. We don't have a relation, intimate relation. But for Suniti, so he, she does not need to read any book about Gorasundara. Because she has already relationship. So she knows what he wants, what is his feeling, what he likes. But by book, maybe theoretically we may understand that, but not from heart, not from feeling. That's gonna have a lot to say. Yes, thank you, Guru, for making it easy for us. Trust in God. Relation. Yeah. Upadan. Why is Upadan? It's main practice, but which was Shrav just narrated out loud? You need the mic, not this. Upadan is the thing that are important to make advancement. And in the meantime, uh, the ones that are like external. Yeah. Every day we read. Yeah. In the other, in the yes, that's important. But that is not really important to you. That what is you searching for, and that you never understand in how many ten years to fifteen years, mm -hmm. because you never do practice of that. Is what you did. What is what is that? This book is not written now, nineteen twenty-two. Even the rules of Islam are practiced. Mm -hmm. Why? Because how to practice that method is not missing. Yes, method to practice, not work to practice. The method, method, the method, method, the way. Living. What you know or remember, how you can explain no meaning. No meaning for this is a value but it is not very but there is two way one is Raga way loving way what Mahajan practice Raghunath Asusan. Guru Goswami 
For which one may have greed in Raga Nuga Bhakti. 92. 92. Mm -hmm. And there is our Sakyamas, Patsayamas, and Madoyamas. And more specifically, the greed for the service of Srimati Radhika. Any other service of greed will not be accepted as Radha Nuga. Greed. No, no, this is actually uh, 
Just wish. There are three, three kinds of moods. Three kinds of moods. Sakyaras, Vatsayaras, and Madhuryaras. And more specifically for the service of Shivati This is a this is Dupanunda. Bill Dutch Manaraj is asking. In the beginning, one has a sakti, attachment, for shravanam, kirtanam, and smaranam, for hearing, chanting, and remembering. Then later, that asakti becomes transferred to Krishna and his eternal associates, but both are asakti. So in the beginning, we desire the association of our Guru Maharaj, we are, but we are thinking of him as we know him here in this world. Now it seems that the same desire can be transformed when the idea of Guru Maharaj's identity becomes more clear. His eternal identity in Krishna's service. So here we see they are still a little confused because they don't know. They have not been trained in how to differentiate between service in Sadakadeha and service in Siddhadeha. They don't know this, but they try to understand it. And how their Guru Shila Prabhupada is the spiritual servant of Krishna. And Burijanda says, he is asking if we are thinking of Guru Maharaj as a mandari, for example, and we desire it. Narayan Maharaj says, how will he understand it when he's not at all engaged in Raga Nuga Bhajan? And he knows nothing about the facts regarding the performance of Raga Nuga Bhajan. This idea does not represent Raganuga Bhakti. Question. What if one has grieved to have darshan of the school again? Shilagurdi, if one has received diksha in the true sense, if he has sufficient connection with his Gurudev, in his past lives and in this life, and he has sufficient past direction on his heart, maybe then it is said, it can be said that he has real greed. We must consider whether or not that greed is genuine. If we are serving and hearing from our good from your Gurudev and performing Vaidhi Bhakti, then after some time, by the association of your Gurudev or any Rasika Vaishnava, you may gradually come to Raga Nuga Bhakti. At the same time, we may see that someone has that read without having taken any help and without having taken proper diction. Like Hari Das Thakur, Giri Maharaj is asking, Narayan Maharaj answers, more so like Dilva Mangala Thakur. Such a devotee is Raga Nuga. We can know whether or not a person is a Raga Nuga Bhakta by his action and thinking. When Bhakti is widely in the beginning stages of its development, 
And after that, by hearing from Guru or Rasika Vaishnava, true grief can come. Danoda Maharaj is asking. But Lady Rajmah's greed is not out of fear of the Shastras. He has so much love for Prabhupada that he will do anything to get his darshan again. He will manage, he will go to any place in the world. He will Shavanam and Kirtana. So he is asking, what is that greed? Narayan Maharaj says, that sort of greed is Vaidhi Bhakti. <laughs> and if by Guru's mercy, if Guru creates genuine greed, then it will become Radha Nuga. Sorry, Guru, it's a little bit confusing. Their understanding is so much, uh, how can we say? Difficult to understand for them. And then Danoda Maharaj is asking, <coughs> but greed is out of love. He's not doing bhakti out of fear or just with conjunction. And then Srila Narayan Maharaj says, the one paragraph that makes it clear to them. If you truly know that your Gurudev is Vinoda Mandrai or any Mandrai, and if you have genuine greed to serve him in that form, that is Raganuga. On the other hand, if you have greed to serve him with knowledge only of the form you have seen, the Sadaka form, it is not Raganuga, it is Vaidhi Sadhana. Is this clear? So, good for me when I read this, and for all of us, I guess we can feel how lucky we are that we are with the Rasika Vaishnava who is giving us the essence in a very easy and understandable and very clear way, not only in the words, but in practice, in practice of our relationships and in practice in our deepest, deepest desire to realize our Swarups. And here we can understand, just from reading these lines, that all the disciples of Srila Prabhupada who were there at that time, they tried to understand what is a spiritual service, what is the spiritual yeah. identity. Goal is Krishna. Goal is Krishna, yes. Yeah, yeah, Krishna service. And they understand who they like that. No, Krishna understand Guru Dev, Guru Dev. But goal is Krishna. You should know all these truths, but you don't have that book, Ragavat Manchandrika. So I am explaining it to you in brief. And Krishna Maharaj says, Your instructions to do japa while meditating on Krishna's pastimes has been very helpful, effective. Krishna mm. Pastimes. Narayan Maharaj, you are so lucky that in a short time you know the effect and you have realized it. My Krishna. <coughs> It is because of coming in your association. Srila Narayan Maharaj. So up to now we have discussed Abhishta Bhava Mai, Abhishta Bhava Sambandi, Abhishta Bhava Anukul, Abhishta Bhava Aviruna, and Abhishta Bhava Viruna. We have discussed all these topics. Do you remember that? Please ask me. 
Okay, that's my says, I remember that we discussed them, but it's hard for me to remember. It's the same uh, comes when you read so fast about this topic, and there are some uh, there are some new devotees in the room, maybe. <clears throat> they maybe heard about something, but very beginners. And you go in this deep topics and you read continuously. After two lines, they stop in mentally because they don't understand anything. And so there is a blockage. And after all, after some uh, uh, capital, after one chapter uh, like this, they are fully frustrated by themselves because there are no realizations. But uh, the, the one who is reading, he is <coughs> safe that everybody thinks, wow. He has so much knowledge, <laughs> right? So I can do this <clears throat> if I don't like that others understand. But if you like uh, uh, a coach who's really interested in his disciples, he will go slowly and he will invite the disciples to be with him for a period that he can train them personally. That means personal trainer. Or in the old language, we say also guru. <laughs> right? It's like this. <laughs> then he makes them depend on him and not on the real goal. That means Swamini, in our case. And Guru Dev is also explaining there are some topics that means it is not clear after all what is the goal. There is, he's speaking about Gopi Bhav and more, but then he made Krishna the goal. So, okay, for the gopi, it may be Krishna, but not only. Because some gopis have some interest. Or also, Radhika, what explaining Janana Maharaj, and they like both together. But this is very fine-tuning. And this to understand takes time. And you cannot use so many foreign words to newcomers. They will be frustrated and no realization. Comes. And I know in the psychology, we work with empowerment, right? That means we empower others to understand what we understand also what we realize, that they realize this, and not make myself the goal. My, my goal as a teacher should be to empower my disciples, that they get the real um, realizations. So, Niki, right? In parliament. I think this is empowerment by intimate relation, and that is really the mercy, what I feel that has been missing. It's not something that you can just read or hear. Even if I read this book, I am confused what I should do if I want to realize who I am and who is the goal. Only in a real relationship with 
Rasta, for all Zulas to come close. It can happen slowly. You see? <laughs> now, just when you say this, the AC is running. That means it's true. <laughs> <It's not true. laughs> in my case, I, I can say that uh, on this place, actually, I don't know what good it would say, but we can finish this book now. <laughs> it's useless. Actually, it's disturbing us. Huh? Not useless, no? Why not good? <laughs> Why rockets comes? <laughs> so it is also helpful. Everything is helpful. Wow. This is only... <laughs> Everything is used. We found this chapter. Chapter four in the beginning. Yeah. Where you want to see? Yeah, this is the But this is the end of the world. Yeah. I understand she put it when I started to read about these five terms, but I'm not understanding it. But you told about words I'm understanding. This is now the explanation again about how Krishna is Mukda and you know you can become giant but you can be all known. It's mostly about Krishna you can do this. Okay. Now we begin the second elimination of Raga Vatma Chantaka. And here in Shilavishwana Takavatitakur is expressing a concern. One may think Krishna is always engaged in Vilas, amorous pastimes with the gopis, performing Rasa Lila with them and sporting with them. He has forgotten everything else, his home and all his duties. He's unaware of whether or not any danger or enemy is approaching. He knows no fear and has no worries. And he does not know what is victory or defeat. <coughs> He is simply engaged in relishing his loving pastimes and the association of the gopis. He is absorbed in trying to please the gopis. And the gopis are always thinking, how can we make Krishna happy? This point, if we can say as Manjaris, it's hard to listen to this, what you read. <laughs> so we don't like to see this. Our sense is not made for this. This, this one agreed with me. So stop it. <laughs> 
I just so follow, so I just follow Gurudev's order. He said we should go on. I said it's all only coffee cup. It's all about Krishna. <laughs> so, so. Gora Sundara Club is so style. He does not hear about the Radhadashi. Except, you know, so he cannot hear Gopi Baba Sakiba, he cannot tolerate. Because we cannot meditate on our Baba. No. Because it will uh, be disturbed. This 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 term this term us in our mm. we like to serve our radika yes and when you read this pictures in our inside comes when he is enjoying with others and not with radika and these pictures are useless for us not useful yes. thank you if you want to to um, Tell Radhika something about Krishna. And she is in man, perhaps, or she is tired. And then, then we have to, to tell Radhika something about Krishna, how beautiful he is. So, I, perhaps I should know something about Krishna to tell it to Radhika. No, 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 she is brushing my because she tells her something about Krishna. We have to fix ourselves in the pictures how to serve Radhika. And now, not how gopis enjoy with Krishna. So we will not come in the service mood. For me, it is like this. I will not say that I'm. Uh, uh, some realized, but I understood that we have to listen only in our bath, and that means not Gopi bath. We are in Manjari bath. See, now the light went off. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. I, I think um, if I may go with it, later, what's new? But. Um, I think the core of sin is very valid because Buddha always says, unless we don't have our side half, unless we are not fixed in our side half, this is very, very diverting. It can be diverting. And so if we don't have the side half, we have to be very careful what we are reading, what we are listening, what we are associating. Right? For the what you say? Yes. <laughs> but this is very important. Uh, this book, the topic, the sharing is is not to, it's to to diminish the value of it. But if if I want exclusive Vishalta to have feet, you know, then I have to go there where I can find where I can exclusively meditate on that. Unless I don't have that. Side of, mm. The waters are very, you know, it's muddy. It's muddy, and then they can get stuck with our foot somewhere. We are focused on how to get the foot out from the mud. Let's continue with the mud. So I don't know, man. It's feeling good. I say, try to find out what you are telling. They will find out. There is something with our So this is Vitao. Vitao describes about according to Baba, where should we go? There's something they find. <laughs> I, I don't know if it is, is helpful or not. Because they are even not practicing and not they are reading. This really also not trying to read. This is the problem. Yeah, this is the problem. problem. But yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm also so good. We need to be a Darcy. Yes. Then 
then we don't need philosophy. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because so I think we are, have the main searching the yeah. wrong place that you are not mm, you're not this is it. I don't know. Do you want to explain this? This is a problem. This is maybe interesting. This one Someone, yes. Okay, we have sent this to you also before, Gurudev. We are just reading uh, something about the differences of worship in different modes. It's yeah, not yeah. about Radha Dasya, but it's something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but for me, I can stop you. Also. Yeah, me, me, too, me too, I can also stop. So no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> so, so we don't, we don't, the other is, we don't know anything. <laughs> you realize, so you are explaining that. <laughs> One sannyasi is sitting there, it's all stabilized. <laughs> Next, suppose someone worships Radha and Krishna in Vaidhi Bhakti, not in Bragama, and not under the guidance of a Rasika Vaishnava. And at the same time, he has greed. That devotee will go to Dvaraka. Why will he go there? Because Radhika manifests as Sakrabama in Varaka and Chandravali manifests as Rukmini. And because Aishvaya Bhya knowledge of Krishna's God good is present in. When Radha and Chandravali are present, and Satyabhama and Rukmini, Krishna is in his feature as Varakadish. And he is served by the entire country. Now we will know this. But now, go on. Tamai Krishna Maharaj, what is the difference between someone who worships and goes to Goloka and someone who worships and goes to Dwaraka? What? Huh? Narayan Maharaj, those who worship without greed go to Goloka. Mm 
Only one only one has rain, but both are worshipping in Bhairi Bhakti. Tamar Krishna Maharaj. Isn't that great in Baraka? <laughs> Narayan Maharaj. Those bhaktas have great, but they are worshipping in Bhairi Bhakti. In that case, Radhika manifests as Satyabhama, Chandravali as Rukmini. Non ti preoccupare. Radhe, Radhe, grazie. And their associates as other queens of Dwarka. Krishna is the same form there as he is in Vrindavan, but there he is a Yadava. Next, those who have greed for Prajabhav and worship Radha Krishna by Raganuga Bhakti. Yeah. Under the guidance of the Rasika Brajabasi. Brajabasi. Now he says Brajabasi means sit up there. No, Brajabasi means Brajabasi is a living person. Mm -hmm. Someone who is living in the That is Brajabasi. And that person will achieve Brajabasi. Is this clear? Now, my Krishna Maharaj, this is very important. <clears throat> Narayan Maharaj, this is a very important thing. Without knowing these truths, we cannot have a proper idea of Raja, and we may be deceived. Wow, now comes the sentence, you all will be happy. <laughs> if one has the Svaru, the constitutional spiritual form of a maid servant of Shrimati Radhika. Ah. That Swarup will only manifest when one is under the guidance of a Rasika Vaishnava. <laughs> no? <laughs> Not easy to find uh, after so many. It's a jungle, dude. It's a big jungle. <laughs> <laughs> now you'll be coming in the right point. <laughs> now it's automatically passes the question why you speak so much about Pradaka, Gopi Bhav, and different things if he is in this path. Why he's not explaining this yes. exactly and with clear words? He is hiding everything because of this, it's the hidden past. He is hiding, he's not open. For me, it's like this, and this is not clear. If I like to fix another one in his path, I have to be by myself in this path and make clear the points of this path. And so they are here together with a, with a uh, self-realized soul, how is it possible that he cannot give this bath to this guys who are, gave the questions? Actually, we can, after all these years, we can say no one of those got Manjari bath. <coughs> Even Gopi bath. Till now, I don't know, I have not heard it. They are not in a, in a fixed bath. Not Gopi bath, not Manjari bath. So it's all only disturbance. They are not clear. He not openly give this path. There are two possibilities. He has not this path, so he cannot give this path, or he is somehow, I don't know why, not giving. <coughs> 
sorry this this to say, but uh, you see, in in our case here, Gurudev, even you are new here. He's with open heart sitting here and only speak about Mandari Bab. You will not listen to him. This this confusing. So you have to go to other place to get confused. <laughs> Here is not the right place. <laughs> Earlier this afternoon, I uh, just had a small sharing with uh, some devotees, and uh, I just remember one thing when you now were giving very clear. Uh, words to this that in Prema Bhakti Shandrika it said that in the age of Kali Yuga, in this age of Mahaprabhu's appearance, everyone can become a Radhadasi. Everyone, this is the gift of Mahaprabhu. This is the teaching of Mahaprabhu. This is the teaching of Mitta. This is the teaching of Tadaswami. So I was thinking, wow, everyone, no? and how does it work that everyone can do? You know, it's saying the drunkard, the old, the sick, the ugly, the beautiful, everyone has the chance to become a Radhadasi. And how does it work? Through giving it openly, giving it freely. Mahaprabhu is giving it, throwing it out. He's saying to Rupa, to the Goswami, help me, I cannot do it alone. You have to throw out the Sita Prema to this one, openly and freely. This is written in Prema Bhakti Chandrakarada as well. You know, it's not coming from anywhere. It's coming really from that direct source. But everyone can get it. So, this is our song. And our parampara. And how does it work? From Nityananda, it goes on. What is our parampara? It's exactly doing this. It's giving it. It's giving it freely. It's giving it and waiting for us to take it. You know, the fruits are hanging low, actually. I want to add that uh, it depends also on the listeners. We are lucky, that is true. That is nothing I, I want to deny, but the people who are listening also, they were not very much uh, trained in that, and they were not even sincere in following. If you see the history later on, they rejected him and they did speak bad about him. And at that time, <coughs> we try to understand what is the next step in our own lives. And we always, you know, we had to leave certain institutions. So I guess, really, to go into the lap of Shimase Radhika, we have to be in this mood of Vrindavan and let everything behind. And it's not easy to leave behind the, the big, uh, you know, guru position and all these things. <laughs> so they have these positions and they have these, uh, you know, limited, confused understandings of what is the final goal and how to understand Guru as Guru Vajra. So it took time. When we were together with Guru in 2009, we didn't know all these things, although we know that he's giving them. And we are here now because we took you know, the mercy and we take it serious. And that is also some years later. I don't say it has to take so many years, but it takes time also and it takes humility. And it takes surrender, and it takes the uh, desire to really get rid of the false ego and let who they do it. It's a process also, but we are lucky that we are here now and not judge others. I don't like it so much. But when it's not our mood, yeah, then it's not our mood. Not judge. We are always <laughs> thankful to all teachers from the past. But I would say in this case of this book, our time is very limited. 
Our Guru Dev time to sit here with him is extremely limited. So that would be the same as if I go back in the church to listen these old stories from the church and go back in the steps and here I get the uh, the top of the top is useless. So let's let's take use our time properly with Gurudev and speak about Manjari bar and not of confused bar. <laughs> but I want to say one comment. So this is this book describes traditional parampara and new parampara. So, if we have traditional parampara, we can go straight forward to, to Radha Dash. But in, in new parampara, at first do Bhaiti Bhakti, and then, the, uh, then Nara Mahari tried to from Bhaiti Bhakti to put to Dhananoda Bhakti. So it takes so much time. So this, this we, you know, of course we may say waste of the time. That's true. But also we can appreciate our our parampara, our traditional parampara. Go to directly, you know, Radha Dasha Manjari Baba. So we could understand which way is highest way, which way is better way, which way should take. And Gorasundara Prabhu says true. Gopinata Bhai says true. So, but this kind of, you know, we, we could, you know, learn this history. Then we could appreciate our parampara. We should, we, we could appreciate Guru Dev's presence. But Guru Dev give, give us so much mercy upon us. Directly, straight forward to, to Radha Tasha. Even though we are so new white. That we may understand, we may learn from this. Yeah. That means respect. Yeah. 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 So, now let's move to the Dharma. <laughs> <laughs> No, I will oh. not agree. <laughs> no, I took the chance with it. <laughs> we have, in our hearts, we have to take the Dharma to every place we are going to. This is the goal, right? Then we always enter the So, you know, if someone who fixed Sai Baba, like Gorasundara, Wherever he goes, that place becomes Vrindavan. Jai Ho! Gurudev goes, that place becomes Vrindavan. This is Advaita Charya said to Mahaprabhu. Yeah. We, are, yeah. we are lucky to we are lucky to be soon in Birkenfeld back. These wonderful souls. We are we are happy. We prepare all the temples, and <laughs> it's wonderful. Thank you for your sharings. <laughs> I just wanted to just maybe make one more last uh, point on that. But uh, I think I really think what Sunidhi and uh, Janana Prabhu is saying: the deep appreciation is coming much more than we understand. That how blessed and lucky we are that we are in the closest association of the of our parampara that this appreciation actually even deepens this analogy steps very very importantly you know whatever we are reading whoever we are listening to you know what i wanted to say is that we should always remember where are we connected to and we're connected to the line of and and their teachings you know, it's like a tree who has many branches, right? But the roots of Mahaprabhu, where are they? They're showing upwards and the branches downwards. And where are the roots connected? They're connected in Raja Brain. They're connected in Manjari Sadhana, their Manjari Brain, Paradharani. And that juice is coming through the branches, you know? And in every branch, there is the Rasa juice to find. We just have to 
find it, right? This is our duty. Yes. It's not we. It's not the duty of the author or the people who are sharing. It's our duty to find the rasa and to confirm and strengthen my connection to my Ishtadev, to my Gurudev, and to my service as a Dasi to Radharani. I think we are we are really happily if one has the spot of the constitutional position uh, for of a maid servant. Wow. Oh, oh. Shimate Radhika. And that Swadup will only manifest when one is under the guidance of the Rasika yeah. So this is actually the essence of the essence. Yes, of the essence of the essence. Of the essence. Yes, of the essence of the essence. That's the yes, yes, yes. foil down here. <laughs> But uh, yeah, if you don't want to eat the burfi, then what to do? Now, my Krishna Maharaj, this gives us the conviction that we must try for the thing that you are to Raga Noga Bhakti. Narayan Maharaj, yes. Raga Noga Bhakti. But you will have to give me Dakshina, a donation for this. Kiri <laughs> Maharaj, I will give anything. Narayan Maharaj, I'm very green. I want Dakshina. Kiri Maharaj, tell me what to give. Narayan Maharaj, do I have to tell you? Viraj Maharaj, my heart. Yes. These are such good topics, and we are certainly lucky that we are discussing them. Second the question comes. Why to give the heart to the Guru and not to Swamini? Question. The Guru is giving it to Swamini. It's not. It's a, it's a first step. <laughs> when you give the book, when you give it to the book, it comes to Swami. Yes. You can explain. <coughs> Shudra Maharaj explained many times, if you offer your heart as a flower, it was called as a beauty and a nice aroma. If you give this flower to the guru, because he's got the dice, he's boss. Yes. Would you like to add something? <laughs> I never say anything. My regard to I said I ever find something. <laughs> In the practice of bhakti, hundreds of thousands of births may go by. And it's not certain that one will have the good fortune to discuss such topics. It is only the mercy of Guru and Goranga 
that we are able to do so. Making another very important point, Srila Vishwanatha Chakrivarti Thakur says that we should not worship Shri Radha Krishna without pastimes. Do you understand? If we chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, without remembering their pastimes, only a very simple thing can be achieved. Srila Rupa Goswami has therefore said that chanting the names and remembering the pastimes must be amalgamated. Then there will be rasa. The mellow taste of a relationship with Radha and Krishna. For example, if sugar and water remain as they are without being mixed, there will be no rasa, no nectar taste of a good drink. Both must mix together. What kind of pastimes do we want to remember? If we have greed for that relationship, we want to remember Krishna's pastimes with the gopis. It is true that Krishna is always with his Ladini Shakti, his pleasure potency. It is also true that Radhika is the personification of this Nadini Shakti, also known as his Swarupa Shakti, his complete intrinsic potency. Still, we should not remember Radha and Krishna without their pastimes. If we remember them without pastimes, Ladini Shakti will not act upon us. When we go to the temple, we see Radha and Mohan simply standing on the altar. If this is what we meditate on, when we chant Hare Krishna, we will have darshan of Satya Bhama and Rukmini or Lakshmi. Thus, it is not certain that we will attain Brajabhas simply by worship of Radha and Krishna as they appear in the temple. These are important times. We should remember the pastimes of Radha and Mohan as they are served by the mandarins who are under the guidance of Sri Rupa Mandari and Sri Ratima. And we should meditate on our Gurudev as one of the mantras. We should remember the pastimes as described by our Goswamis and Srimad Bhagavatam. Mm. And when we perform Arati of Sri Radha and Krishna, we should again remember their pastimes. Which pastimes? In the morning, remember their morning pastimes. And at noon, remember their midday pastimes. Consider that in our Swarup, we are 
one of their associates and praying for that attainment, meditate on our Gurdi as one of them. In this way, our bhajan will be Raga Muga. Otherwise, it will be simply performing by the bhakti. So we are, we are sitting as servants of Radha Maha. And this is, uh, I think, a very nice point that I also always try to remember when I'm standing in front of them, chanting and dancing, that I am your servant, Srimati Radhika. Let me please get into this consciousness more and more and help me to remember my service and my form and my mood as a Dasi of you in the company and the guidance of Guru Manjali. So we are lucky that we get this all guidance here and Guru is training us. Otherwise, like Sri Narayana says here, just being in front of them and thinking they are God, it doesn't give us Prajabhav. So that's uh, <coughs> sometime before uh, Narayana Mahaj said. <laughs> If we see Guru Dev only Sadaka Deha, so even though we may have greed for Guru Dev Sadaka Deha, this is not the <laughs> it is Baidi. So, similarly, this also same thing. <coughs> In the Swarupa, we, we meditate. We are one of Radha, Radha Dasi. And also meditating, our Guru Dev is our Guru Manjari, who is also intimate servant of Radha. And then we meditate Radha Moha and in the Swarupa, ourselves and Guru, Guru Manjari. That is considered, that Bhajan may will be Raga Nuga. If we simply meditate in Abhasadaka Deha, and then Guru, this Nara Maharaj said, it will simply happen by the Bhakti. Thinking from God that you are God thinking in that time. Not the intimate relation. No relation. <coughs> Not for you are. That. Again, read the line. When we perform the RT of Sri Sri Radha and Moha, we should again remember their pastimes. Which pastimes? In the morning, remember the morning pastimes or leelas. And at noon, remember the midday pastimes. Consider that in our Swaru, we are one of their associates and praying for that attainment. Meditate on our Gurudev as one of them. In this way, our bhajan will be Raga Nuga. Otherwise, it is simply, it will be simply performing Vaidhi Bhakti. No, you missed the line. Which one? If you see the God, 
No, that was what I what I said afterwards. <coughs> when we go to the temple, we see Radha and Krishna simply standing on the altar. If this is what we meditate on when we chant Hare Krishna, we will have darshan of Satyabhama and Rukmini for Lakshmi. This what you mean, Buddha? Okay. Go on. Go on <coughs> <clears throat> Did the gopis or mandaris ever offer ever offer arati? Would they offer arati to Radha and Maha? Yes, but you will need to know what kind of arati they are doing. They have a pradeep. A lamp. Buri Jandas. A key lamp. Shila Narayan Maharaj. But in this connection, the key is the heart spray. The Pradeep. The lamp is the heart. And the cotton is the garb. The mode of surface. What kind of bath? A special bath. Every bhakta has a special bath. And that bath comes out through the eyes. <laughs> Sorry, it comes again. <laughs> the gopis worship Krishna <laughs> by the corners of their eyes. And Krishna accepts the worship of his eyes and takes it into his heart. <laughs> the gopis perform archan in this way, not in the way we do it. When Krishna comes home from cow grazing, Yashoda Ma takes a lamp and other paraphernalia and offers arati to Krishna. The gopis stand at the doorways so that they will not be seen as they perform archan with their amor, amor filled eyes. Due to his glance being absorbed in the action of the gopis, Krishna does not see his mother's arati. The gopis' archan is the best archan and best arati. We should see their arati to our arati. Arati! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, good. <laughs> Just the way it is. It's obvious, yeah? because this is it. <coughs> because this at that time is going to be the. It's just to want to go Raga Nuga Bhakti. So therefore, Nara Maharaj was understanding their mood. So they explain Gopi Bhava. So it's, at that time, Iskandida does not want to enter directly Radha Dasha. No. 
they want to enter Raga Nuga Bhakti. So therefore, you know, they are mixing, many things mixing. So therefore, who? Huh? Who mix? This Nara Maharaj explained mixing, you know, like a Gopi Baba. The high Maharaj mixing. Yeah, because 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 they 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 just want to enter Raga Nuga Bhakti. Their goal is not to fix it. Anyway, anyway, okay. So that's they are guru and what about their data? Yeah. Yes. So the guru portion is this. Yes, true. And what is the followers of guru? <coughs> it's not the fixed thing at all. Well, wow. no, 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 no. this explanation not fixed there. Confusion. Right? Yeah. That makes it makes more confusion. <laughs> because they Visit him to clear their points of the Baba, and still he mix. You, no, you, you was looking for a clear explanation, and we do not find. Even in the beginning of what you read now, there was a copy part. And then he jumped to Manjali Bar. Again, Gopi Bar. Krishna. There is not clear who to serve. There is not a fixed point. And in that case, if you don't know who you are, Gopi, Manjali, this or that, Queen of Varta, no, you always speak about it's different. So, how? Yeah. Who is there? What is your path then? How you can fix it in this in this book? You will not fix it. You will go out and be more confused than before. And then you teach your disciples. So now we can understand how rare it is to be fixed in your path. And how important it is to fix it. Because if you not understand, and you're the teacher, what will happen with your disciples? Will they fix their bar in their life? It's not possible, right? If, if the teacher is, is not clear, the disciple will be never clear. Understand what happened here. Uh, this is uh, these all teachers. They are all uh, uh, leaders of a, of a big institution, and they go out of this school as uh, more confused than before. And after Narayan Maharaj, who is able to clear this point. I see some here sitting. <laughs> they was clever, I would say, enough to find a place to get fixed in the bar, but there are very less. Right, would it? I don't know. <laughs> 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 I heard Shunanda Sanaharaj explain why he gave his explanation to them. He told then Gorbe Samaharaj revealed his glory to Gorbe Samaharaj. They understood in compare with him, they nothing. And they disciples misunderstood. 
and they try to think where can we get it? Such knowledge, not wow, knowledge, but it can be how they come in, in competition will be not less. And they cannot go to Gurdjieff's marriage because he is a brother, Guru Maharaj. And they come to Narayana Sash, not for things, not for power, for knowledge. And Shunaka Sash gave them some knowledge and confusion. This was what Shunaka Sash explained about this conversation. What I heard. Because their goal was the case. But what is the teaching with the Sama? Say I want to know. Same. No, no, please. You and Shukur they asked me what he taught us. Actually, we was in the same position. We were so much mission, so much mission. Because our desires were the same. We had desires to be pandit, get knowledge. I remember my heart. I heard lectures of one pandit. Uh, one disciple of Shri Lanka Samaraj is Pandit. And I thought, oh, I want to be like him. So nice knowledge. And Shri Lanka Samaraj gave us this knowledge. But not Manjari, because it was our desire. Yeah, according to qualification and desire. <coughs> Jai Ho. Jai Jai.